Despite petitioning Shraj to investigate the matter, Mahama Yaraga, in a statement on the floor of the House, called for Parliament to initiate a probe of its own. However, I call on Parliament to look into the military brutalities and their operational style in Boku. I have petitioned the Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice to address these specific egregious human rights violations occasioned by these cold-blooded executions by the soldiers of the 10 citizens of Boku. We should be a community governed by laws and not the might of guns. Commenting on this statement, ranking member on the Defense and Interior Committee, James Agalga, called for the conflict to be treated as a national security issue, whilst Deputy Majority Leader Fenyo Markin warned against politicization of the conflict. It is not just a conflict between Pusazis and Mount Cruises. It is a crisis which has escalated to the point where we need to treat the Boko issue now as a national one and give it national attention. On that note, Mr. Speaker, I would appeal for calm once again. This calls for our very reasonable approach to the problem, not to be very emotional, not to attempt to even do politics with it and by extension attack the government. Defense Minister Dominic Nitti will explain government will do all it can to resolve the conflict. And Mr. Speaker, there have been political will from the Nana Adodankwa Akufado government. So let not be said that there's not been political will. Let's be very careful who we choose to talk for in Boku. I want to plead with you, Pope. That's why, Honorable Ayaga, I told you, come to the office and let me sit with you with the military government and let's discuss it. I told you before, three days ago, on Monday. Maybe if you had come and we start, maybe this statement would not have been made. Until the soldiers were complaining that you, the, the defense minister and the interior minister, had never visited them. And I brought the complaint to you. Now, you sit here and tell me that, that the soldiers, the soldiers and the police were complaining that you were never visiting them. You brought them to come, they are being exposed to death, and you, their commander, never stepped foot there to see them. Please, let's not talk personal here. I have sat down quietly and listened, not because I don't have responses. So, Speaker, why they kill the, the people? I'm pleading with you, go there. Go and see with your naked eyes. And I'm not choosing to speak for only Kusasis. That last statement you made, that we should be careful who we speak for. Please, I understand everything that you are saying there. I'm not speaking only for Kusasis. I'm speaking because people that ought not to have been killed were killed. The recent killings in Boko came up again on the floor of the house today with MP for the area clashing with the defense minister over some allegations that had been made by the minister. The MP was asking parliament to investigate the matter, but the Speaker of Parliament has now decided that because Shraj and the police are already investigating this matter, Parliament should stay any such investigation until such a time that it will be very necessary. But the violence is still happening. Indeed, we heard there from the Defence Minister saying that just last dawn, there were about 10 hours of gunshot exchanges between people that the military and the police are yet to identify. And the violence is getting out of hand. Members of Parliament are calling for this situation to be declared a national security situation so that the state can marshal all its resources to the area to help deal with the violence. Reporting for Joy News, Kwiku Asante from Parliament House, Accra.